Good morning, Diane in Denmark here and I am delighted to be back home, hooray, after uh, two weeks travelling. I've been away travelling for two weeks in the United States. Um, for those of you who have been watching, you will know that my son was doing a year of American high school and we went over to pick him up. Uh, he graduated two weeks ago and we we're finally reunited with him after... 10 months uh, of separation so that was fantastic and we've been uh, he was on the west coast of the states in washington state so we took a couple of weeks and we've been traveling and we were in seattle we were in vancouver uh, we were in bonnie lake uh, sumner if you know that region we were uh, where else we were in portland we were in newport eureka and we finished up uh, for my 50th birthday in san francisco so it was a fantastic trip, but I am really tired of being in, you know, living out of a suitcase. We were in seven different hotels uh, in, four, in the course of 14 nights. So I was so glad to get back to our house. And I'm just getting back into my groove. Um, we came back on Saturday. Sorry, no, we came back on Friday afternoon, got the suitcases uh, unpacked. I did a couple of loads of uh, laundry. The garden has been blooming while we've been away. Everything is in bloom. Uh, fantastic uh, hydrangeas, hortensias and sweet peas in the garden. So that was fantastic. The only thing was there was an awful lot of weeds as well because we've had good and bad weather here in Denmark while we've been away. Anyway, I, I did a little spot of gardening over the weekend just to, you know, every time I felt jet lagged uh, and I'm still feeling a bit jet lagged, here we go, it's my coffee. Uh, every time I felt a bit jet lagged, I, I went out into the garden and did a little bit of weeding. So garden is looking not bad. Um, jet lag is improving. Um, the time difference from here to the west coast of the States is nine hours. So it, it's, um, jet lag hasn't been too bad, but I think another couple of days and I will be there. But anyway, why am I talking to you today? Well, for those of you who are maybe uh, new to these videos, my name is um, Diane. I am Scottish, uh, born in Edinburgh, worked in Luxembourg uh, for many years at the EC uh, Court of Justice been living in Copenhagen for the best part of 20 years and I am one of the, uh, I was one of the mentors at Fly Lady Premium. Now I just stopped working with Fly Lady Premium at the end of uh, last month, at the end of June. I finished up with the ladies that I was working with. I'm moving on to different projects but I am still continuing with the Fly Lady system because that's what has changed my work ethic and uh, got my mojo back and um, so I'm continuing with these videos and the videos that I've been making are just explaining what we do in the Fly Lady system, what we're doing on a week-to-week -week basis, a monthly basis and these videos keep me accountable so I'm going to continue to make them. I hope um, you're finding them useful too. Thanks for all the lovely comments. I'm always overwhelmed by the nice comments. Uh, as I said to you, I read all the comments. I can't respond to them all and I've got a huge <laughs> lot of comments to follow up from, from the last two weeks. But anyway, let's get into to today. Today is Monday. We're in the month of July. We have an, a new habit of the month uh, in Fly Lady, which is Swish and Swipe. If you don't know what that is, I've got a video for it. I shall post it. Uh, hopefully you've already done the Fly Lady's 31 baby steps. You know, that's 31 days where we kind of give you um, a flying start to the Fly Lady program, an introduction, we, we get going with baby steps. Um, a link up there. I did a video for every day of the 31 baby steps. You know, I did it in, in real time uh, in January. If you if you need help with that, go back and have a look there. Just take one video per day and take each step because that's what we do. We, we take one step and we build from there so we don't get overwhelmed. But anyway, I'm back uh, after my vacation and it's the month of July. And it's Monday morning, and what's the best way to jump back into the week but starting off with a weekly home blessing? Now, if you don't know what the weekly home blessing is, it's just a, a one-hour clean 
of the main areas of the house. Now, now listen here, we're not, do, we're not cleaning the whole house in one hour. There's no way you can clean the whole house in one hour. But you can make the house look fantastic and feel nice and clean and fresh and put your head in a good spot by doing one hour's clean of the main areas. Now, the main areas may differ from your house to my house, but my main areas are uh, the kitchen, uh, the entryway, the living room and the bathrooms. Now, I've also done videos about the weekly home blessing. Gosh, I've done videos for everything. Uh, I'll put a link up there. What you do is uh, you're, you're going to be working for five to ten minutes on each task and there are seven different tasks. Don't be overwhelmed by it. Just go and have a look and see what it is. Today I'll be setting my timer for five or six minutes and just spending five and six minutes on each task and doing it that way. If you want to do a full-blown uh, weekly home blessing, I actually made a playlist of me, you know, dusting for 10 minutes. You can see me dusting and I will talk you through it. I do 10 minutes of um, wiping windows and uh, glass doors and mirrors. So I will talk you through it if you want to. If you don't want to hear me talking, that's fine. You can go and, you know, just put on some good music. That's, that's another fantastic way to get through weekly home blessing. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, today. And uh, what did I want to tell you about that? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, when, when I came back from vacation on, on Friday, you know, I'm a worrier, you know, I worry about things and, you know, the fly lady system and I'm also using the getting things done system. Those are two things which have really, you know, I'll still worry about things, but I know in the back of my mind that I've got a plan for things now. So, so even if I'm still worrying about it, I'm not worrying about it that much because I know I've got my safety nets in place. And when I came back, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about next week and everything that's coming up. I'm just going to, you know, we unpack the suitcases, I put all the, the travel documents away, um, you know, found all the currency that's been put away, suitcases are away, the laundry is done, the kids have put the things in their rooms and, you know, my son's adjusting to getting back into his bedroom again and sorting things out there. And I thought to myself, I just take the weekend, you know, I, uh, you know, I've said to you before, don't worry about things over the weekend, about everything that's coming up. You know, take a pen, and if you've got a fun pen like this uh, one with a Dalek in it, even better, just write it down in a notebook, get it out of your head, put it in the notebook and say, you know what, I'll get to that next week on Monday when the kids are back to school or when we're back to work. So I wasn't worrying about it over the weekend. And that's what I did. I've, I've made a couple of notes um, of things that I want to get done this week. But it's I've got a plan for it. And that's the same with the Fly Lady. We, the whole Fly Lady system is we have a plan for things. Menu planning. I need to do that. That will get done tomorrow on Tuesday on my plan in Play Day. Today is Monday. That's the day I do my weekly home blessing. You may like to do that on another day. That's up to you. Uh, Wednesday is anti-procrastination day, Thursday is errand day and Friday is clean out the car, clean out my handbag and fill up, uh, fill up the car with petrol, yeah clean out the car and date night. So you see there's, there's a plan for everything and that has been so helpful you know when I come back you know especially if you've been away for a couple of weeks on vacation it's really nice to be off on vacation and you can kind of forget everything that's going on at home. And But sometimes when you get back, you might go into panic mode and say, what's going on? And, you know, I used to be like that too, but now I know I've got a plan for it. It'll all be okay. I'm just going to have an extra cup of coffee this morning to get me out of the jet lag. And then I'm going to get going on my weekly home blessing. So anyway, I've been speaking for, oh my goodness, I've been speaking for nine minutes and I was going to keep it short and sweet today. But anyway, thanks uh, for, for joining me again. I hope you are dressed to shoes. And yes, I've got my shoes on, my little uh, lace-ups. Oh, and I was going to show you, see, just hold on a minute. Um, I've 
I've got my cleaning caddy ready and as I've said to you it's really useful to have um, a little cleaning caddy so that when you do your weekly home blessing you've got everything that you need to hand. You know I've got um, my purple rag and my silver rag and the little fly lady here. I've got my water bottle ready, I've got bags so that I can um, go around finding the trash uh, or recycling. Um, it, it just makes it really easy and you don't kind of get sidetracked when you're doing the weekly home blessing when you've got your little caddy with you. And the main thing that you must remember, please remember, because I always have to remind myself, is use a timer, okay? Because it would be really easy to get sucked into hyper-focusing on one area today or one task, but really we've got to spend our time wisely and make sure we don't go overboard. So the timer is fantastic. So I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes and that's how much I'm going to spend on each of the weekly home blessing tasks today. Anyway, uh, that's it for me, Diane, in Denmark. I shall be checking in with you the rest of the week. We've got a um, slightly different zone zone um, zone things this week. We're working in zone one and zone two because of the way that the, the calendar is this month, but I'll explain that probably tomorrow. I need to get on. Hope you have a fantastic day. It's lovely to be back and I shall see you very soon. Okay, Diane in Denmark signing off from a wonderful sunny Copenhagen. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.